Okay, so this looks like it's a kind of quadratic question, but it looks a bit of a mess. Um, there's a really easy first step to sort this all out, and that's to times everything by y squared. So just times literally everything in the uh, equation by y squared. So 5 over y squared times y squared just leaves 5. And here we've got 7, and in fact, I'm going to write this as a fraction still so we can see it a little bit clearer. So we've times that by y squared, but we've not really dealt with it yet. And we've got minus 3y squared equals 0. Now, the um, y at the bottom and one of the y's at the top cancel. So we end up with 5 plus 7y minus 3y squared. And since we'll use the quadratic formula on this, it's probably easier I put it in order. So that would be minus 3y squared plus 7y plus 5 equals 0. So we've got to find out what a, b, and c are. a is the number before the y squared, which is minus 3. b is the number before the y, which is 7. And c is the number on its own at the end. Then we're going to use the quadratic formula, okay, which is x equals minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, so I'm just going to type that all into my calculator. It's a lot easier doing this than going through. I'm going to do plus first, and then I'm going to go back and change that. So minus brackets 4 times minus 3 times 5, close brackets over 2 times minus 3. Press the equals, and I've got an answer of minus 0 0.57338, blah, blah, blah. To two decimal places, that's minus 0 0.57. I'm going to go back on my calculator and change that plus to a minus. And it also equals 2.9067, blah, blah, blah. So that's going to be 2.91 to two decimal places. And so the trick with this is just convert it into something y squared plus something y plus something equals zero.